5. A disturbing trend on the rise across the Chicago area. Paintball attacks have sent nearly a dozen people to the hospital. Strange. WGN's Kelly Davis is joining now, us now live with the details here. Kelly? Hey, Ray and Mika, these are nothing new. Paintball attacks happen sporadically throughout the year, but a local doctor tells us she saw a huge spike over the weekend, and the severity of these cases is very concerning. Last month, two men were shot with paintballs while walking along Michigan Avenue across from Grant Park. Police say someone fired from a white sedan and drove off. Then on October 1st, a 58 year old woman was at the bus stop on 69th and Halstead in Englewood when she was hit with paintballs. And today, a local doctor tells us she treated several victims over the weekend. Over the last 48 hours, uh, there have been at least seven vision threatening injuries to the eye and quite a few of them have required urgent surgery. Dr. Avdagish was the optometrist on call the last three days. She says she's never seen so many paintball attacks in such a short period of time. It started approximately on, uh, in the afternoon on Saturday and the cases really went up until Monday morning and you know still counting. A paintball gun can shoot bullets at the speed of 300 feet per second. So getting hit without any protective gear is very serious. While the cases over the weekend vary, there were several that required surgery. The uh, traumas range from superficial scratches to the surface of the eye to bleeding inside the eye to um, something called a globe rupture, which is similar to what it sounds, the actual eye ruptures. Police warned that paintball guns can look like real guns and using it to shoot someone on the street is a felony. These should never be aimed at the eye and protective equipment should be worn at all times. And of course, it, they should not be used outside of a, a certified paintball center. Similar paintball attacks have happened in other major cities across the country. Officials say this could be part of a game where teens are filming these attacks and posting them on social media. If you have any information about the attacks we've seen here locally in Chicago, you're asked to call Chicago police. Reporting live, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.